What's up, everybody? Al the Pal 78 coming at you. Episode 4, about to be epic. It's how to make your free logo design. <laughs> so I'm just joking. As you can see, I'm already on the website. On the top, it says free logo design. It's dot org. Okay, so that's not that's so you don't mix it up with dot com. I'm gonna show you right now the most easiest way you can do it. The most easiest way you could make this logo design is if it says company name for most other logos here, you could just type the company's name right here and let's call that since this is my um, channel, let's call it Al's Fun. All right, all right, all capital letters for the fun. As you can see, a lot of them change their uh, name or the logo's name or whatever it was right here so it could be your company. That's very simple. Some of them don't. They're a little bit more complicated to work with. So the only thing you really have to do to make life so much easier, let's say you're making a camping ground. I don't know. I don't care. You, your your, your company is going to be for camping. You click there. That's almost perfect. That's almost exactly how you want it. You click preview. As you can see, there's three different options. At the end, I will go through them all. You can put create my logo. You can put download. And that's it. And then when you press download, it says first name and email address. I will do that at the end. I might actually end up doing it with that because that's a pretty cool, nifty, simple logo to do. But let's go back because that's not what I wanted. Let's go back again because that's not what I wanted to show you. That was the most simplest way to do it. Okay, let's start again now. Well, here you could put your company's name there, and that makes it a lot, a lot easier. Then you could choose a category out of all these categories, and you could do something like, oh, look at Alice Funk. Well, that looks pretty cool. I would probably use that for maybe a mason or something. Oh, that's a, a microscope. I don't even know what that, that, that is. There you go, Alice Fun. You could be playing video games, which I love to do. There's a lot of simple, easy designs you can do. One of the things you could do is actually click one of those designs and then start editing it. I'm going to go to Let's Get Started first. I'm going to show you how to put this in there to edit now. All right, let's see. There you go right here. Here you go right here. Oh, oh look, there you go. I was fun, my cell phone. Perfect, absolutely what I could do and mess with. All right? So let's say, I guess I live in Massachusetts. I'm not a Patriots fan. That's a Patriots colors, all right? <laughs> and that also looks like the hat from the Chef Boyardee guy. Oh, <laughs> as you can see, it is a chef's hat. I just realized it's food. Okay. So that's my company logo. If you're a chef, I would highly suggest you use that logo. That is awesome. One of the things you could do, if it wasn't, like, if you didn't have any logo on it, I go back. Uh, let's leave this place. If, if you didn't want any logo on it, you press get started and you press X right here. You could just redesign this whole thing by yourself. Text, you're adding text shapes, you're adding a shape. All right. Add, uh, uh, that's the one thing I don't like when you add stuff, it's all added to the middle. So you could have to move it like that, add icon. Let's put controller. Let's see what happens. There you go, icon, original Atari controller. Actually, that's a little bit better. You can't see it that well because it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's not working right. I don't like that icon, but we're not going to worry about that. And then let me delete all this because I'm going to show you with logos how to do all that. Yes, I'm sure I want to press delete. And now we can go back to here and add the logo. What was we in? Technology, right? That's what I said we're in. Oh, no, let's go back all the way down to where it said technology. Thank you very much. See, when you go to this logo and add logos, what happens is it makes it a little bit better because it shows you all this stuff, and then it shows you all this stuff broken down into better categories. So that was pretty cool. Let's see if they just have technology in here again because I hopefully think I want to get that back. Uh, technology right here. There it is. Let's see if we can find that same one again. It should be the next one over. Nope. Hopefully it's the next one over. I'm just looking for that same one. That was pretty awesome. 
There it is right here. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to edit this and what things do. So right now, because I'm in this view right here, I'm gonna take my uh, beautiful face and I'm gonna put a bad boy over here. So you can see all the stuff that's gonna happen on this area right here. First things first. Like I said, that's Patriots colors. I'm a Jets fan, so everything's going to turn green. Now nah, I'm just joking. I was fun. Maybe I don't like the... Um, we're going to click stop with the text. So maybe I don't like the font, okay? We click the font. We don't have it. We don't need it to be saying lobster. Maybe we want it just a little bit more down because um, some of these fonts like lobster connects it. I don't want to touch it at all. So we have that. That's pretty nice looking, right? We have that one. That's not as good as the other one. There's so many different ones. There's so many. The one thing I like about this is it's got so many different fonts. Um, I don't like all the fonts, though. <laughs> no, it looks like I want to eat it, like almost like Cheetos. So we can't do that one. Let's do Gabriella because she's fun. There you go. If you wanted to change it to Al the Pals or just change the, the name of your company right there, you could always do that from right here. All right, but we don't want to do that. It's fun. It's good because it's just a uh, demonstration. Say we like that color of the for the font, but we don't want this um, New England Patriots look right here. All right, so we click on that. Well, that's not what I really wanted to click on. Okay, if you w don't want to know what you want to click on on this whole shape that's already done for you for the icons and logos that they gave you, if you click this arrow down here, it's going to show you all the shapes you've already clicked on, which one you want to click on right here. All right, and I'm gonna show you some more stuff. I just wanted to get uh, on with this right here. So let's go to shape nine right there. You don't want that blue, you want it green because you're a Jets fan, <laughs> right? And you don't want it red, you want it purple. So let's go to that shape and let's make it purple. Why? Because purple is a color of royalty. If you don't believe me, look it up. Uh, maybe you want it a little bit darker. I don't know. I'm just making things up, showing you how to do certain things. Now, the cool thing is, even though you don't want to do that with this, there's options right here you could use with that. And that goes with everything. Let us let me see. Let's see the... Um, wow, that, that shape is crazy. Wow, that's not what I was looking for. But I was looking for... Wow, they got the dishes in there and everything going on. There you go. See, I, I get the dishes. Maybe I don't want that white as well. And I wanted it, I don't care, pink. There you go. I wanted it pink. Why? I have no idea. That looks horrible. <laughs> but I do. And say I want it to be turn, rotated like this. You could do it that way. But just like anything else, if you ever used, uh, what they call it, PowerPoint or any editing tool, there's a little circle thing up here. You could rotate like that any direction you want. And so I could point it like that, saying that over here is where the food is at. I don't like it at all, but I'm going to leave it like that just for showing you purposes. Over here, you can scale it up, make it bigger. Over here, you can make it smaller. That, uh, th this is the layer options. So let's say this was over here, and you wanted it in the front, or you wanted it in the back. You can't see it in the back, so you wanted it somewhere in the middle. There it is, it's somewhere in the middle. But that one you probably want all the way on top. Like you're probably not gonna want to do it like that and put it there. You're probably gonna want to make it look more like original self. Okay, that's good. Now honestly, there's not much more you could do besides select them all. But with this, the font there is. Like I said, there was an alignment. There's color changing. I'm a Jets fan. Let's go Jets. I know. I know. <laughs> the things about text that you could do that's actually fun with it. You could put this curve feature in it so you can make it go down like that on both sides or make that side go up or something like that make it like a little wave so you're doing the wave for the uh the jets to hopefully score one day <laughs> and, and make, win the super bowl again they got this thing called letter spacing so as you can see the letters look like they disappear no they're spacing that much far apart all right so i don't want no letter spacing at all you could flip it that way, that way. Same things you could do with the other stuff. You could put it in the different section of layers, rotate it, duplicate it, group it, you know, delete it. Uh, no, but you might want to take the grouping out and, and make it look more like that. So that looks okay. It looks horrible because I changed this color right here. I'm not going to lie. I don't like it. But for now, we like it. 
So I'm going to show you and explain the last bit about it. So instead of just pressing save, I'm just going to go to preview. I always preview it. The cool thing is that they want to create your website for free. And I'm going to show you how they're going to ask you again. So you got three different versions. Once again, you've got the low end version, which is the low res, which is what I use for my website. Did I have it up here? I don't know. Yep, that's I use it from the same website. This is what I use for my website and my YouTube channel. And the good thing is there's no watermarks and there's no um, having to think thank them or anything like that in it. That's cool. And they're great. So I might donate. So that's that. So you got these three options. First option, like I said, is the free option. The second option is the higher end option. And it's good for like using professional printing usage and stuff like that. The last option is they're going to make your website with it. <laughs> You're going to get this plus a website. You get high resolution files, a website with your own domain name. So they're gonna get you're gonna pay the extra money, they're gonna get you that website. Like so let's say the name of the website is Alice Fun. And the name domain name will be alicefun.com. So that's pretty cool. That's not expensive at all. That's pretty good. Um you probably don't get a host though. The host will probably be something like get a host, but that's a whole another story. We'll talk about it next next year or something. I don't know. So, like I said, this option is pretty good because it gives that PNG file. PNG file, if you don't know, it's kind of like a GIF file. If you don't know what those are, that's fine. I'll explain it. What happens is you see how they have Al's Fun and all these white areas. If this was a, a yellow background, all the white areas would be yellow. If this was a black background, you get it? All that would be, it would integrate with the actual site. Like, kind of like this. Like, this is mine. All right, that's the wrong one. Oh, I deleted, I closed it out, so don't worry about it. So that's mine, so that's that. That's pretty cool. That's easy. It makes your life easy. So those are the three different options. This one makes it better. You can transform it to a PDF file. You can save it as a SV, vector SVG, meaning you can edit it more with that. And you can do a lot more on the actual website. I'm just showing you a brief overview. And the way you get your stuff is you have to, you know, press download. Oh, create my logo. All right, so that's when you do it again, which makes no sense why they have it there. I'm going to leave that. So my stuff, when I press backspace, as long as I don't press refresh, it's going to be here. So let's press download. And uh, like I said, I to keep everything simple. I put out. I put my email out there. That's not Gmail. And you press OK. When you press OK, it's going to pop up this option. As you can see, when they say, let's create your free website now, it's going to, when you pay for it, they give you a domain name. When you get the free stuff, it's like kind of like going to Wix.com and stuff like that. The cool thing is, you just got your logo. Now, look at your logo. is already on the website. I didn't know that until today because I'd done this before. I didn't realize that it actually showed you your logo. I don't want that. got my own website. That's that. So what do you do now? Okay, you go to your Gmail. You click your logos ready. You press download. It's gonna go back to that website. You can even edit it again. It already it already opened. You can even edit it again and do it again and get it free. This is my 17th time doing it today. So I got it 17 different times. You click open on it. Like I said, you see besides the hand, all the all the white spot that was around all that stuff, it, it blends into the back. It's kind of what you want. And now this is saved on my desktop. Bada boom, bada bing. There it is. That's all you need to know, baby. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I try to keep it um, small, but it looks like I kept it. I made it longer than what I wanted it to. So until episode five, see you then.